Meanwhile, as KTSM has also obtained body cam footage of New Mexico State Police going to the Pan American Center last week, they went there to serve search warrants for a phone and other items belonging to members of the NMSU men's basketball program. As many as 10 law enforcement officials went looking for NMSU players Anthony Roy, Issa Muhammad, and Marcellus Avery in the hours shortly before the Aggies beat the UTEP Miners on their home court. We now know those three aided teammate Mike Peak after the deadly shooting in Albuquerque back on November 19th. Police also providing paperwork to associate head coach Dominique Taylor, who eventually turned the gun that Peak used over to law enforcement in the hours following the shooting. Do you have a way to get a hold of these three players? I don't know. So they'll be at the game tonight, though, right? They're going to be at the game tonight, though? Yeah, they'll be at the game. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. It now, still as of now, it remains unclear if any of the three players were given those warrants. KTSM asking state police for copies of them. New Mexico State Police instead simply gave us another copy of the November 19th incident report. For plenty more on this story, you can always visit our website, KTSM.com.